Hi everybody, welcome to Paddocks. It's actually VE Day today, so that's Victory in Europe. It's the 8th of May 2020 and had school been in as normal, we'd have been on bank holiday today, so you'd have all been at home anyway today. But we're in school, we've had a few children with us today, um, but they've gone home now, so I thought I'd do my assembly, uh, a lockdown assembly, and share with you some fantastic work that some of the children have been doing. Uh, it's not quite live as we promised, because uh, it's a little bit earlier than we were planning on doing this, uh, but never mind. One of the things I did want to do today was thank you all for the amazing videos that we've seen. We've had virtually from every year group something fantastic for us to see. So this is following our reach out video um, that the staff did. You've all reached back to us uh, and, and shown us some amazing things. I've been so impressed with all the things that you've done. I've even had a video from some of the children who are coming into reception in September uh, 2020, which was just lovely. So a big thank you to every single one of you that's taken part in our year group, uh, in the year group videos. And it's done a fantastic job. So uh, I'm here with Sam. Do you remember Sam? Okay, Sam's all about attendance. So uh, I don't think any of us would get that. Perhaps maybe some of the teachers and possibly me, because I think I probably got 100% attendance or not, not far off. But Sam's here keeping me company. Uh, and I'm actually doing assembly um, from the start which is not somewhere where you would normally be able to see. But um, I'm all by myself today. Uh, everybody else has gone, has gone away, gone home. So I'm here and I'm doing, um, I'm doing assembly uh, from the staff room. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to award certificates. So each certificate, it's called the Paddocks Lockdown 2020 Certificate. And it's a head teacher's award and it's presented to various children from various year groups for doing various things. OK, so these um, nominations have all been selected by teachers uh, or by various staff, actually, uh, for children that they think have gone a little bit above and beyond. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share each one with you. I'm going to stick a sticker on them uh, and then we're going to send these out in the post next week. So uh, you need to keep, keep, keep your eye out for them to uh, make sure you get them uh, at home. So the first one, this is for Jimmy from reception. Last week, he learned to ride his bike without stabilizers. Way to go, Jimmy, that's fabulous stuff. So well done, Jimmy, learning to ride his bike in lockdown without stabilizers. You all get a lovely shiny gold sticker, aren't you lucky? Uh, the second one from reception is for someone called Robert. So for never giving up and facing a challenge, Robert has worked so hard over the past few weeks and I've really seen a massive improvement in his work. How lovely to receive that, Robert. Fantastic. Great work. I've been very impressed with some of the things I've heard from the teachers about how hard everybody is working at the moment. And then Grace in reception for making an amazing fitness video. Now, I hope that you're all keeping track with Mrs Knight on the YouTube videos. All right. She set us some fantastic challenges uh, over the last few weeks while we've been in lockdown. So here we go, Grace. There's your certificate. Be ringing its way to you in the post next week. In year one, Bella, because she asked to raise some money for the National Health Service, so she did a thousand seat drops and raised one hundred pounds, which paid for twenty meals to be sent to uh, UHCW Wardsgrave Hospital for their staff. A great achievement and shows great compassion for others. There's been a lot of that. Well done, Bella, and I'm really impressed with what you've done and everybody else that's done some fundraising. We're doing our own fundraising next week. We're holding some, hopefully you'll be holding some sponsored events and we can come together as a school and raise some money for the National House Service. I know Miss Heathfield's very passionate about doing that for next week. So Alexander in year one has been making Easter cards to send to rugby hospital patients. Now fabulous, what a lovely thing to do. And how lovely for those patients to receive those cards OK, who've been that have all been done by Alexander. Well done. Fantastic. Barney in year one. Barney's been making cheesecakes to sell to raise money for the NHS. Last time I spoke to him, he'd raised 40 pounds and he was aiming to raise 100. Again, that shows fantastic ingenuity. I think we might have to see some of those cheesecakes in school, Barney, when you come back. That would be fabulous. Well done, year one. Moving on to year two. 
Bethany for helping her peers improve their creativity by doing an art video. How fabulous is that, Bethany? Doing your own art video, okay? And helping your peers, your friends to improve. That's fabulous stuff. Well, well done. And then James in year two, Mrs. Maxie says that James has done the most amazing work. Brilliant art, information posters, stories, exercise video and lots more as well goodness me it sounds like you're just as busy at home as you would be if you were at school james how fantastic well done james and olivia in year two miss texera says you've cheered her up with your wonderful smile whilst doing so many different activities she really likes your handstand and splits so well done, Olivia. I'm sure Mrs. Knight, as well as Miss Texera, would like your handstand and your splits. Fabulous work. Well done. Year three. So Kazar in year three for going above and beyond in her academic and creative learning. How fantastic is that? I'm loving the fact that some of these are related to your work as well as to uh, all the charity work that you're doing. It's really good to hear. Super work, well done. And Henry in year three for his commitment to learning during the school closure. Well done. I think you could all be celebrated for your commitment to learning. Doesn't matter what you're learning. You're all learning something, whether it's to ride your bike, whether it's to raise money, whether it's to raise awareness, whatever it is, or whether it's actually doing your schoolwork. All of that is absolutely fabulous. So well done, Henry. There's your certificate. Eleanor in year three for adapting so well to all of the changes in school when at our Rainbow Club and taking it in her stride, but also for being so enthusiastic, enthusiastic about and proud of the activities she's completed at home too, particularly the creative stories she's been writing, which I have loved reading. So well done, Eleanor. Certainly Rainbow Club at school is very different to a uh, normal school or to when we all have lessons and all the rest of it. But all of the children who come to Rainbow Club have done really, really well. OK, well done, Eleanor. Fantastic. And then Cameron in year three for being a great support to his brother, Robbie. How lovely is that? He's been helping him with his tricky words and his reading. Oh, how great. That's just fabulous, Cameron. Well done. So by the time Robbie comes back, it's going to be brilliant. OK, super work, Cameron. Fantastic. Well done. And well done to all of year three. Moving on now to year four. Leela for showing maturity, care and resilience when she wrote about her lockdown birthday. I imagine there's quite a lot of you that have had birthdays while we've been in lockdown and it's very different because normally you'd probably get together or you'd have a party or you'd do some sort of celebration. Uh, and this time it's been a bit odd, hasn't it? You know, grandparents not been able to come, that sort of thing. So well done to Leela and to anybody who's had their birthday in lockdown and actually uh, done it really well. So well done you. So Alex in year four for amazing art that he is producing at home, including his beautiful blackbird and the accompanying spring poem. Fabulous stuff. Well done. I have to say we've been really lucky with the weather. I've enjoyed sitting in my garden, not that I've done that very much, but watching my garden come to life after the winter as we've gone through spring and now we're heading towards summer, aren't we? Uh, and it's been really lovely to see, really. And we've watched birds. We've got a bird box, a little birdhouse uh, in my garden. And we've actually had some um, uh, a family of birds using it and some little ones growing. So it's been great to see. So well done, Alex. Fabulous work. Lily in year four. Lily has been making colourful dragonflies for NH, NH staff to say thank you for working so hard. Lily's mum works for the NH, NHS too. This is a follow one, can't say that today. Okay, well done, Lily. Fantastic work. Um, and keep it going. Super. Well done. Isabella in year four has been keeping busy doing lots of home learning and her painting of the setting in the wind of the willows was amazing. So well done, Isabella. I'm sure your work was stunning. Okay, brilliant stuff. Well done, Isabella. And then Ellie in year four. Mrs McBain says, Ellie has been sending me regular emails and pictures of all her baking. She's a keen baker 
and every, everything she makes looks amazing. I'm sure you've all enjoyed the YouTube clips with Mrs. McBain. I noticed this week she's put on them um, how to make uh, chocolate cracknell that they have in the lunch hall. So I'm sure you'll all be trying that over the next week or so. So well done, Ellie, for all your, um, all your, all your baking and your hard work. So Macy in year five, for going above and beyond with every piece of work she's completed. She's done nearly every challenge on every curriculum board so far. Wow, well done, Macy. That's really interesting as we've got some children I don't, I don't think I've looked at the curriculum board at all. But anyway, that's brilliant to hear that you've done virtually every one, Macy. So super work, super well done. Then Alex in year five. Alex is raising money for the Might and Hospice who care for people in their last stages of terminal illnesses, primarily cancer. He's raised an amazing £535 so far. He's shaved off his hair to raise the money. Fabulous stuff, Alex. That's just brilliant. Super work. Well done, Alex. Keep it up. Really impressed with that. Sammy in year five for raising money through having a guess how many Skittles are in the jar competition where he lives. It was rainbow themed to raise money for the NAH, NAHS charity and he had to sit and count every Skittle. I assume these are the Skittles that you eat, Alex, rather than the Skittles that you play games with. So well done, Sammy. I would imagine that took you a long time to count those. I wonder how many got eaten along the way. And then Jonah in year five. Um, Jonah shaved his head to raise money for the NHS as part of New Bold's The Rugby Club's Brave the Shave. My son shaved his head too, should I just tell you, that was quite a shock. They have collectively raised over £75,000. It's an amazing achievement. Many, many, many people in and around rugby have now had got shaved heads because of it. But what a fantastic cause and what a superb sum of money. Well, well done, Jonah. And Lily in year six. Lily has raised over £500 for NH, I still can't say that, NHS, NHS charities by doing a bounce a She bounced 25,000 times, that's a lot, on a trampoline for over five hours. Wow, that's amazing. Lily, I'm surprised you can still stand up if you've bounced that many a number of times. Well done you. Fantastic and what a fantastic sum of money. And then finally, William in year six. Mrs Tilly has been so impressed with William's hard work at home. He's tried to complete all the activities on the curriculum board despite having a broken wrist. Wow, William, that's some, some achievement. So well done. And, and with a broken wrist as well. Impressive. So nobody else, everybody else has no excuse, do they, for not doing their curriculum boards? What a fantastic different range of things that teachers have nominated the children for. Really wide range. All of them learning. Doesn't matter what it is. It's all learning and life experiences. And that really is what, what matters. Now, OK. Um, I, uh, we're hoping to uh, have some further details, aren't we, on Sunday uh, about when we might all be together again. Um, so hopefully by next week we'll have some further details on what's going to happen, when it's going to happen. And as soon as we do, you can rest assured, as I've told you before, we'll have a plan and we will put together our plan and we'll, we'll let you know what it is. Um, lastly, and most excitingly for me, I have something that I want to show you. Come with me. So here we are. I brought you out onto the forest school site and there's something new on the forest school site. Do you remember a couple of weeks ago I said that we were looking to get the concrete laid ready for the biodome to come? So here it is. Here is the large patch of concrete, okay, that was uh, laid yesterday, yesterday, so it's just drying off now and we've ordered the biodome. So how exciting is that? Who knows when, it, when it's going to come? Watch this space. As always, Stay safe, follow the rules, keep inside. I know it's really difficult in this weather. You want to go out and do things and it's really, really hard. Okay, but go out for your, your daily bit of exercise, but make sure that you do what we're supposed to so that we can keep that curve nice and flat. Okay, take care. See you next week, everybody. Bye.